tailgate treats. <laughs> Some quick munchies to score a touchdown at your next tailgating bag. Fire it up. From the birthplace of American Barbecue, it's great TV, and let me see if I can lose it. I'm not even gonna bother flipping, I'm just throwing. Oh, litter bug. Uh, Three-time South Carolina State Champion Jack Waybor and Barbecue Pitmaster from TV's Barbecue Pitmaster on Destination America. Destination America, America what a cool show that I'm was. Bill Wesser, BarbecueTricks.com. And uh, have you done much tailgating yet this season? I have not it's been early. tailgating. You know, we just got started with uh, the college football season, so I think it's time that we do some tailgating. And I think it's time not only do we do tailgating, but we need to do tailgate food. I see bacon. Yeah, bacon, uh, we're going to wrap, we're going to do some bacon wrap stuff and, you know, everybody's wrapping things in bacon these days. It's the duct tape of uh, barbecue. It, it seems to be what it's all about, doesn't it? Could you use that pre-cooked bacon? Yes, you could. There's no yeah. there's no reason why you couldn't. All you got to do is candy it up a little bit. But we're going to make straight pig candy. Straight pig candy, um, simple, we're going to use brown sugar, which is here, the brown sugar, and then we'll use cayenne pepper, and I'm going to use a low salt rub. And the reason I'm going to use a low salt rub is because, well, we got a lot of salt in the bacon, mm -hmm. we got a lot of salt in the pretzels, there's a lot of salt in the pickle brine, so I'm going to use a low salt rub. So we got bacon wrapped pickles. Pickles. And bacon wrapped pretzel sticks. Pretzel rods, yes. So I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and start making the uh, pig candy. So I'll put down a little bit of cayenne pepper, and I like to, I like to use my uh, fingers to use the cayenne pepper because you got to be careful the cayenne pepper doesn't get too hot, right? So we just sprinkle a little bit on there, and of course we'll use the old chefy trick where you know make it rain. Um, and that's is that what one of those dudes did on Pitmasters? Yeah, that was his tip. That make was, sure it's uh, make, above. make sure you're up. Make sure you're up high. So here's, I like that. He was a trained he, chef, he and he showed chef. you guys how to do it. And this is Howie Kleinberg's idea right here. He's he says that we should be up there. It also comes out of Adam Perry Lang, and of course we love Adam Perry Lang. We've done a few of his recipes, and he talks about making it rain. He's so. got some stuff going on too. He's got uh, his series barbecue tour going. Yes, he does, and he's uh, he's doing a great job. So we like uh, we like Adam. Okay. So then, gonna... uh, and so now we're going to go ahead and put on the uh, the low salt rub, right? So we got a nice little color going on here, and then it's real easy. We take our pretzel rod first. We get our bacon, and we just give it a start. And we just kind of twirl it right around. And I'm making sure that the rub stays on the outside of the pretzel rod. Look at that. It wraps, I would not have expected it to grip and wrap around so good. It just does a perfect job. And let's go ahead and get a pickle out because, well, we need to demonstrate the pickles too. And I'll finish up these. If I'm you wondering want. if this is going to get too salty, no? Because That's we, why we don't put the salt in the rub. Because we don't put the salt in the rub. Okay. So pickles are pretty easy too. Um, you can use the pickle spear like it is, just like this, or you can cut it again one more time so you have more pickles. And I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with putting a pickle in a mason jar too. I think a pickle in a, I think both of these would look great on the table in a quart wide mouth mason jar. Let's wrap these up, play some music, and come back and see what we got left. Good idea. So it's been cooking, we got it. I'm almost done with my beer, and this is the beer that show takes a beer and like to watch. That's right, it's time to go ahead and uh, give it a taste. We have bacon wrapped pretzel rods, we have bacon wrapped zesty dill pickle spears. They look fantastic. We've let them cool for a little bit, so let's dig in. Okay. It's softened up a little bit, but the pig candy really makes a nice, almost a crouton. That is delightful. I really like the way the it contrasts a little bit. Really good. I'm really digging the pickle. Uh, we're going to leave you with some great plates here. You can send us yours, jack at greattv.com, bill at greattv.com, or just hashtag them, hashtag great plate. Buy local, think global, stay sustainable in every chance you get. Hug your mama. Quick thanks to some great platers out there. Look at this, coming from Rob Metzger of Coatesville, PA. Peachwood Smoked St. Louis Spare Ribs. Now, Coastal PA is uh, kind of a home base for me. Years back, uh, Coastal was the next town over. Your, your, your stomping grounds? But not Oslo, Norway. No, no, didn't live in Oslo, Norway. Thanks, Alexander Carlson. Check this out. He, uh, his barbecue ribs 
with homemade barbecue sauce. He actually sent us the, uh, the sauce recipe. Look at that stack of ribs. They look fantastic. Look at those. Doing it upright overseas. Do you know what these are? They look like pie. Some sort of pie. Was it? Uh, was, that the, uh, was that the? Was that the pumpkin pie that uh, Everett Odell made those for us? I think it's Everett Odell's pumpkin pie. Thanks, Bud, for sending you sending us the picture. They look fantastic. Glenn, check out his ribs. The first time doing them. Look at those ribs. For the first time effort, those look fantastic. They look like spare ribs to me, and they look great. Mike Bowles sent us the caribou T-bones with the Tongass game rub over natural charcoal briquettes all the way from Palmer, Alaska. Wow, caribou from from, from Alaska with the Tongass root rub. I've heard a lot about this Tongass rub. I think we need to get something to give you a try. Thanks, Mike. Uh, whenever you can, send us your great plates or just hashtag it. You can email them to us, jack at greattv.com, bill at greattv.com, or hashtag great plate. Mike W., he sent us these baby back ribs cooked with three, two, one, but as you can see, all that's left is a pile of bones. <laughs> He's got a big pile of bones going on right there. Looks like it was a great rack of ribs.